Hello everybody and welcome back to Vixen Purple's Crochet and More. I am your host Cheryl and in this video today we are going to show some um, finished makes and stuff and maybe a couple of um, works in progress that I'm still working on and just kind of give you guys about an, an idea of what I've been up to lately. Um, one is I've been working full time again um, so I haven't had much time for a whole lot of stuff to do except for crochet. When I get home at night, um, videos is almost, well, you guys know, you haven't seen me for a while, except for maybe today when I posted a video up about my Hobby Lobby clearance haul. Anyhow, um, long story short is, is I'm going to try and make some videos and get you guys um, up to date. I do have some ideas of what I'm going to be doing here uh, regarding the channel and um, with the crochet and stuff. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you a bunch of the stuff that I've made in the last three, four months now altogether. Um, so I have been making quite a bit of lovies and I have um, a whole bunch to show you. So some have animals, some don't. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you that I made this. Now this pattern is by Zelda NRJ3. She's here on YouTube. She made these um, wonderful lovey um, pattern and she gets solely the credit for that. Um, that was her idea. I just took it and ran with, with what she showed on her video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the video and link it. If I do, I'm sorry, it's not there, but if you search her channel, she will have that pattern. Anyhow, um, a lot of these yarns I get to have no labels and I get them from the thrift store. Um, and some of them I do have labels with is because I've gotten them from either the Dollar Tree or the, the yarn did come with labels, that kind of stuff like that. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff. This is a, um, a baby yarn. I don't know who the, the name brand of it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of got a white, uh, and pink moral into there but it's pretty but this is one lovey I haven't found an animal for her yet or it so as soon as I do I will um, be putting that one with this this one does have an animal that's going to go with it it's a little bear and um, I've got to tie some ends in and I do apologize <laughs> um, this is the Dollar Tree Just Premier yarn um, or worsted and this is um, a, a Patton's Allure in the eyelash yarn. But anyhow, this is one of the, the lovies that I made. And this is going to have a gray bear that goes with it. But I thought that that would be a good eye. I did use two balls of that just, um, just worsted in Premier from Dollar Tree. So there's one. This is a... I believe it is a, um, I love this yarn print, probably a discontinued one, but this is here is one that's going to be finding a, an animal to kind of go with it. <clears throat> it's really pretty. It's got blues, purples, teals, and whites. I mean, it's very, very pretty here. Hopefully this will give you some justice to it. Um, so that's another one. This one, it has an animal and I thought it was really cute. This is an old, older Joanne's yarn and it's called the signature or something to that effect yarn. But anyhow, I thought this was pretty cute with all the colors in it. And I thought it matched this little puppy dog really well with all the colors. But yeah, and this is a full size, full size dog in it. I haven't decided if I'm going to trim it in pink or not. I don't know yet, but this is one that has the animal. This is another, I think, um, no, this is a baby yarn, I think from Burnett, but it's really pretty. It's got blues, purples, yellows, and it's really, really super light. Let's see if I can get her. There you go. Hopefully that'll give it some justice. My camera's not doing really good because of my lighting, but this is one lovey. This is the thrift thrift haul. Sorry. Thrift 
thrifted yarn, shall we say. And I haven't found an animal for that. This is also a thrifted yarn, but it's also made by Caron Simply Soft. And it is in the color pink camo. And I had one ball and I thought, perfect, a lovey. So that's one. This is, um, I believe this is the Red Heart Stripes, and I think this is either Newspaper or Zebra. It's grays, whites, blacks, and I thought this is going to be perfect because I, sorry, I do have an itch. <laughs> um, I thought this would be perfect because I do have um, some animals that are grays and lighter grays and stuff like that, and I thought that would be a good one. This is another one. This is the Mainstay yarn, and I think it's called Purple Multi. So I made that into a lovey. And yes, I do have tails I need to sew in. So that's another one. This is a pink one. I'm going to have to wash it because I think some dirt got on it at one time. But anyhow, here's a pink. This is the Burnett Coordinates. No ball band. I do apologize, but I do have some that's very similar to this, and it says it's brunette. But this is a pink. Let's see if I can get it a good justice on that. Nope. Sorry, guys. I thought maybe I could get some justice for the color, but it's really, really soft pink and stuff. So there's that one. This is another coordinates. Um, yarn that has an animal to go with it and this has got pinks yellows greens and it looks like blues in there and i thought this little bear was perfect because it was multicolored. here let me pull the bear off and there's the bear i thought that was perfect for that for this uh lovey um so there's one of that. This is also um, a Burnett's Cornet or a baby yarn that's Cornet. It's got uh, sparkly in it with white. And it's a pretty blue, a little bit darker than, show oh, there it is, than it's showing. So that's another lovey that I made. This is also another lovey. I'm sure you've probably seen a couple of this colorway because I have a few balls of it, but it's also the Burnett. So yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what I've been up to. Now, this is also some thrifted yarn that I had, and I had a few balls in the colorways, and not enough to do what I thought I was going to do with it. But so I made turn them into a lovies. This is a per uh, got a purple hue to it with blues and pinks. And I'm going to find an animal. I have some small animals that will go probably go good with this one. This is um, an older discontinued yarn called Sassy. I don't know what the colorway of this one is. But I thought I had four balls of it, but I didn't. <laughs> I only had two. And then two of a different color. So, But this is that Sassy yarn. I had got made that, and this is the other one that I made that I thought I had more that would coordinate it with it, but didn't. Here's the other. It's a more of a pinkish, purplish color. Very pretty. And yes, I do have some tails. So let me show you the ball band. Um, it's a sport weight on this, and it is... Acrylic and nylon, 8515. There was 215 yards approximately in each balls, but this is the band that I that I got. And like I said, this was a thrift store find. Okay, so it was made by Sassy, and there was some other words I don't know on it without tearing the label apart. Hold on. Oh, Columbia Minerva. Here. I need to see that that well. Come on, camera focus. Oh, there we go. 
Sorry, guys, it's not focusing very well. But that's what I had. And like I said, I had approximately four balls, but two were different colors in this, this one. And this one I had gotten as a, a package. It's called Nanook, Nantuck, Nantuck Brushed. Um, it's called Knitting Worsted. Let me pull the band off. And this one I had, I believe, four bands, four balls of it. Some of it had labels, some of it didn't, but it's a real pretty kind of a rosy pink on this. So I made that one. And it, let me show you the name, the, the, the label of it, sorry. And this called Begonia is the color. So this is the label. Sorry, I don't have, see what the, Oh, it says 110 yards on it, and it's, um, here, let's see. There we go. I don't know if you guys can read that well or not. But anyhow, I don't have my glasses, so it's... It says acrylic and nylon, so 99% acrylic, acrylic and 1% nylon. So that's what I had. And like I said, this was a thrift store find yarn, um, didn't have, some had ball bands, some of them didn't. And the other one I made, um, is this one. I did put the label attached to it so I wouldn't forget. So the other one with the black, um, Patton's Allure is this yarn, just yarn, worsted by Premier, and it's a Dollar Tree yarn. And I had four balls of it and Two balls made each lovey. So, and then I added uh, a scrap ball of pink with the metallic on it. But this is the elephant that needed a lovey. And I thought, pretty darn close for the ears. <laughs> so that's what, sh what this one got. So yeah, so that's my loveys that I've made. Like I said, I've been making a lot of them. Um, the other, th let me put these down real quick so that I can um <clears throat> show you some more stuff i do apologize so yeah that's a lot of lovies for me to be making but they also become fast and simple when i can do them in about uh, a few hours this is a work in progress it's still not quite finished this is called um mystical cape and it's a yarn inspiration pattern and it's the, the designer is Selena Baca. And this is a free pattern. If you guys can see her, if I can try to remember, I will include this um, or the link on this. And this is uh, what I'm making. Now, so far, it's still attached. So it's still in, a, in the finishing stages. I had... Uh, four balls of, hold on just a second, let me grab it. Okay, it's the Big Twist Reverb. And this is the colorway that I had, and I have four balls of it, and it was uh, called Teal Blue Pink. There's no teal in it, so, but anyhow, this is what, I make, what I've made with that particular yarn and like I said I'm in the finishing stages of it so it should be finished up pretty pretty cool quick I was going to put a lighter color but nothing that I had in my stuff seemed to complement everything that's in this in this capelet now I made this capelet on the larger side so but yeah this is where we're at with this one. So like I said, this is the mystical capelet. Or mystical, sorry, mystical cape. And here it is again by Selena Baca. And it's by Yarnspiration. It is a free pattern. Whoops, sorry guys. And the other work in progress that I'm working on 
which is almost finished too, is this one. And it's by Hobie. And it's called, there we go, All Seasons. And it is a Rwanda, or yeah, Rwanda type, or a kimono. Sorry, kimono. And this has, in this this particular pattern, it is, um, it has the Y stitch. Guys, I've never done a Y stitch in my entire life until I did this pattern, and I really like it. It's very interesting. Um, so anyhow, you guys saw that a long, long time ago, <laughs> I bought a bunch of um, Lion Brand Pound of Loves in the color Oxford Gray because I was going to be doing a, um, a pattern with it and I needed a, a bunch to make sure I had enough yardage. But anyhow, this is my kimono and whoops, my ball band fell. This is, whoops, got my hook in there too. See, try to keep it all together. And this is working with an H hook. Yeah, an H. And this is what it, this is half of it. It's a pretty good size pattern. So this is where we're at. And like I said, I'm almost done. You can see here, I got another four more rows to go and then I finish it up. But yeah, I can't wait to till it's finished as a finished project, but this is a work in progress and stuff. And it's quite large. This is, this is taken already two pounds of love and they're a little over a thousand yards so and i'm still not quite finished with it and i still need to border it oops sorry guys don't mean to be bending forward this is all the ball that i have left to finish with it so that's one so we'll go down so oh sorry guys i missed the lovey here's the other lovey <laughs> in the yellow and this is a, a baby blank, a baby yarn. I don't know the name of the thing, but this is the little slop that I had. And I thought that yellow was perfect to go with it. So here she is. So that's her on that one. Um, you guys know about the shell blanket that I made for my, or was making for my mom. And this was a couple months ago, like in December and stuff, I finished it and this is the end result. So it's folded in a few, it's folded in fourths. So this is what she looks like. And I put a uh, white shell border on it. It's made with retro stripes and a very bright pink of red heart. It's washed up, it's super soft. Now I can ship this off to my mom and so she can give it to my aunt's grandbaby. But yeah, this is doubled, I mean, this is half. So anyhow, I thought it turned out pretty good. At first I wasn't real happy with it, uh, because of the I messed up <laughs> in the stitchery had to frog it and I had to redo it and this is the end result and it's finished and it's beautiful so now I can and now it's finished I can send it off to my mom and go from there so um also I made with no pattern just kind of out of the mind try to see if I can recreate it and this is what I got and it's a Pokemon egg head and this is what it looks like it's made out of brunette blanket it is um, school bus yellow and black this is scrap yarn that I've had same one with the red and I'm going to give this to my best friend's um, grandson who loves Pokemon so this is, this is him. Oh my goodness. I got stuff in showing. Oh, well. So I'm in the process of recreating this, but a little bit different. I do have the body of it. 
ready to go. I'm trying to make it like a squishmallow type thing and I'm not doing a great job at it, but that was my first rough raft, but we'll see what's going on. This is my second and I like this style a lot better. And now I've just got to make the ears, the face and call it done. But this is my result. The stitch markers I have is marked for the eyes to go on so that I can put the nose and the mouth on as well. But this is my work in progress too. I sh need to get off my derriere and finish it. It's almost done. Um, another thing that I made um, is a cra uh, craftily ever af after pattern. She does have a YouTube channel. Her name is Cassandra. And I think she's in Denmark. So she created this pattern and I love it. This is what it is. It is a little squish buddy of a bear. I think next time I do this, I'm going to put way bigger eyes on this and maybe shorten up the nose a little bit, but this is so cute. I am going to be giving this little guy to my boss's daughter, um, who, is 11 I believe and I think she would just love it and this is her favorite color too I made this in um, the just yarn chenille from the Dollar Tree so and I've used one and a half balls on that and then I made two hearts in the just chenille mostly this is a scrap ball this is no pattern. I just kind of winged it same way with this one. So this is the finished object of what was left of that yarn. So I made two hearts in the process of that. I don't know if you all saw this on Jill's uh, Facebook page. I did create this guy, no pattern, and I made a candy corn, but this was very, very months ago, so I don't remember if I showed this guy to you guys or not, but I just thought I would show him. I thought it was cute, and he was definitely fun to make. So that is, this is all scrap yarn. All of it, scrap yarn. So this is basically no pattern. I just winged it on that one. And then I made some doll dresses. And this is by All My Crochet here on YouTube. Uh, she came out with this pattern, and I, I think it's called the 18-inch puff, puff Stitch Dress for the 18-inch My Girl Dolls or Our Generations. But this is her, one of her patterns. I do apologize. I don't have my models showing it. I ad-libbed ad -libbed this because... I really didn't want to sew buttons, so I didn't sew buttons. <laughs> so, but this is, I did this pattern in one day, and I think it took me about three hours off and on altogether to finish this. And then I made another one. This is my first one that I made, and I made it in, um, in, in this green that I had. And I did the border down here different than what the pattern actually called for and that i do apologize i should have followed the pattern but i was going off by memory i was having too much fun making it this one took me a little bit longer because i did this in between breaks on at work and stuff and that's what she turned out with so i made two of them and let's see let's see it's getting pretty long so i made a whole bunch of hat and scarf sets i do apologize my 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 boy is not feeling good today and i made it in the just uh yarn tweed in the color rust and i think i had about five balls so i made a hat and i made the scarf to go with it this pattern I got from a book, and I do apologize, I don't have that book in front of me, but it is a stitch pattern or a block pattern to learn. These should have beads, but I opted to go without the beads, and I figured that was a pretty cute pattern, so I made that. 
into a scarf and hat set. Come on, sweetie. Go away. Go away. Good boy. Thank you. Um, sorry, guys. I got a lot over here. I made a, um, a brown beanie. And I think this is, uh, oh my gosh, I want to say like lemon peel stitch, but it's actually not. It's, it's a, um, I forgot. I do apologize. Anyhow, I made this hat <laughs> to go with it. If I can remember the pattern, I will, I will put it in, <laughs> but, um, we'll see what we can do. So I made that. Then I had... This, I don't know if I showed you guys, this is in the color, color play, uh, Meadow Song. And I had a few balls. I bought this uh, at a Hobby Lobby clearance, um, I think a couple of years ago. So this is it. This is the, the name and stuff. Sorry. I have roommates now and I'm still learning everything about everybody. So anyhow, I made a cowl in that colorway and a matching hat for this one. So that's once that's another set I did. I also had some scrap balls of, um, homespun and this is a hat that I made it's a, it's actually darker it's showing greener in this but it's got green blues dark blues and reddish purple colors in it and I trimmed it in with some a black fur style yarn for the brim sorry I have a end to tie in there and I made a bunch of Machine knitted hats. Sorry, I'm trying to grab them all. So, I have a central machine, and I've been trying to find um, some good yarn that goes with it. And so far, I think I've found it, but it is definitely it likes Caron Simply Soft yarn. I'm not crazy about the yarn. I think it's a little splitty that kind of stuff but it's other than that it's it's a good yarn sorry for the noise so anyhow i made a central knitted knitted beanie hat this is the carol simply green simply soft in a dark green there's one this is a red heart um yarn i forgot what the name of that is sorry guys this is also another carol simply soft but in a real light blue and it's a double thick beanie and then I had I had one in, in a green but it's a lightweight green so there's that then I had a a wool like oh no I'm sorry I made two of those green ones here's the other one um, and then I had like a wool like and it seemed like that one as well so I made a black beanie out of the wool. I forgot which one it is. I don't have the band, the yarn band with it anymore. This here is um, Loops and Threads uh, Cozy or something like that. I have a, another piece down here that has it. But I made a, I had enough in, a, in two balls to make a, a scarf and a hat. So I made a hat and scarf set. Okay, this is also a Red Heart yarn. I forgot what it is. And this is, uh, I think, a oh, this is the Bag of Day um, back post, front post, alternating hat. Oh, gosh, I wish I knew what that pattern was called. 
but this is one I made in this colorway. And this is a red heart yarn. This is um, Premier's Chunky Serenity. I made a basic hat in this. Sorry, I've got entails with a um, crab stitch border. This is uh, ice yarns, and it's like the microfiber. I kind of made a scarf out of this using the, the knitting machine. I thought it was kind of cute. It was something I was playing with. I got some more need to do. So this is just practice yarn. <laughs> this is um, a hat that I did with holding two, two yarns together. And I used this uh, Jamie yarn. I had it in a lavender color. Yeah, lavender. This is the ball band that I had and it is a Jamie. It's an old band. And I held Jamie with this, with this ladder. Well, it's not ladder, but this lat. Well, I don't know what you want to call that, but I had a ball of this that had no, um, no, no band on it. And I got that at a thrift store, I believe. So that's what that is. And this is what the hat looks like. And like I said, it's just, just a basic beanie, but this is what it looks like. And it's so, it's pretty. It really is. And it gives it that kind of a fluffy look. So I got to watch my time, guys. It's getting long. And I have some more to show. So I might make this into a two-parter. Um, I also did another hat and scarf set using the, the same stitch pattern I showed you earlier with the brown. I made it in the teal. And I made... This scarf, it is a scarf set. It is a free pattern. I do apologize. It's a, like a pocket, pocket scarf. See? And it was a pretty, fairly easy pattern. Yeah, in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you guys I what the pattern is. But it is a free pattern, and I think it's off of your inspirations and stuff. So with this one being said, guys, I'm going to stop it here. I will have another one. Well, you guys see more I have over somewhere in my chair next to me. I do want to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out my makes. And I do apologize for being gone for so long. There's a lot's going on. So um, if you feel up to it, please like it. If you really feel up to sharing, I would appreciate it. And if you like what I've showed you so far, please subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.